everyone, in this video we'll be covering creating an enemy free life using the demons Os and Stolas. This is a very simple topic because it's not so um, difficult in terms of ritual work and evoking uh, certain spirits. Um, you can use the demon kings in different ways, but um, because it's a simpler topic and kind of um, easier to deal with in general, we are not actually using um, magic to destroy your enemies in this example, which you could do torment magic, attack magic. Um, binding them, um, emotional sort of uh, damage to them because of what they've done to us. Uh, this is more about not really avoiding them, but removing them safely and sort of cleanly, uh, obviously, from our lives. And also, and still us working together can bring you to understand how to avoid and resolve enemy situations in a very thorough way that removes them from your life kind of safely, then guides you to live in a way that does not easily attract future and further enemies into your life going into the near future. The complementary spirit here is kind of unique with Nemesis, the Greek spirit. Nobody ever thinks to use um, the Greeks, Sumerians, Vikings, and Egyptians, but they are very powerful. Um, Set, uh, Nethys, uh, Fenrir, uh, the Viking, um, Ben Enki, Inanna, the Sumerians. Uh, Nemesis here, the Greek spirit, is very powerful for getting you to understand your enemy situation very clearly and deeply so you're guided to live peacefully without any enemy problems eventually. Uh, sort of whatsoever and at all but this is a very powerful topic because it's so simple to sort of change your thinking and kind of shift your life away from kind of entertaining and uh, attracting an evil or um, negativity because we can go into um, not even death magic causing death to us others who are extremely wicked and kind of need to be muted and just cancelled out that's not what we're talking about here we're talking about uh, safely and sort of uh, almost passively indirectly dealing with our enemies so that they aren't directly attacking us this is about very deep, sort of not even meditation, but like understanding uh, what it takes to just live a um, you know enemy-free and clean life, where we are safe from them. And uh, if you are interested in attack magic or um, you know cursing, uh, curse work, uh, baneful stuff, the really heavy stuff, you can check out my other videos where we cover more extreme forms of magic, where we bring in other demons, Greek spirits, um, the jinn. Um, even Archangels in some ways, um, you can do cliff off on the Archangels and have an impossibly intense experience where your enemies know that they messed up uh, sort of damaging you and hurting you, and this means war now, but that's a very different topic. Um, as I said, this is a very simple topic, and I had to differentiate uh, what we mean here because it's so uh, kind of easy to deal with, but um, you know, going into not war, but battle against a um, powerful enemy, um, even if they're not physically attacking you, but they're just generally very evil, can be a very robust and uh, not really complex but cumbersome topic. But thankfully, you know, Ostolas and sort of Nemesis, um, kind of directly here, because Nemesis and sort of Hypno and Morpheus of the Greek spirits are very fun to work with because they can guide your enemies to do stupid stuff and that reveals them to their um, own people and that can leave the really huge um, problems, disasters, catastrophes for them. But for now, um, you know, this is about creating an enemy-free life using Os and Stolas. Very simple topic for this video, using uh, Nemesis to sort of guide your understanding so that you can live an enemy-free life in general. And if you'd like to learn more about these spirits, especially the Greeks and others that are kind of lesser known, I implore you to check out the links below. And as always, please have the spirits to guide you to where you need to be. Thank you.